Hello and welcome to another edition of Guinea Pigs with Greg. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little training session with my KVs and I thought uh, it'd be useful for everyone to see. Uh, I literally spend just one minute a day with these animals and I do various uh, tasks with them, which you'll see later on. And in the background, we have uh, one of my viewers' uh, daughter's guinea pigs. Uh, this is Fudge. Uh, it was bred by Darren Mitchell um, and it's done very well for Athena Norris. So what we're trying to achieve um, by training our cavies, well, we want them to be relaxed, calm, and present themselves to the best of their abilities to the judge. We don't want them running off, we want them to adopt the right shape position, and basically uh, give them the best chance to have all the success for you on the shape bench. You've put the feed in, you put the grooming in, you put the training in. Simply just one minute per day, uh, will get the KV used to being handled. In the next few uh, clips, I'm just going to show you the various techniques that I've used. I'm quite lucky in the show at the moment, we have quite a lot of young uh, KVs needing training. Um, so I find it very good to support the KV in the hand and then smooth that KV from the uh, shoulder all the way to the rump. Just constantly uh, reassuring that KV that it's safe, it feels comfortable. And you just keep repeating this you know, for 20, 30 seconds until you can feel the breathing relax and they're then malleable and move into different positions very gently just moving them from left to right you get to run your hands through the coat and assess the cave at the same time then you're able to put those cavies on the box or on a table and then continue smoothing them just that constant reassurance all the time just letting them know you're there and then you get to move them into various positions you get to move them left move them right but again, constantly reassuring and rounding off at the rump. You see how I'm just pulling my fingers round to the back. Constantly nice and gentle, but firm at the same time. And now you see the KV is a much more relaxed position. And this makes assessment of your KV uh, much easier. I'm able to move this KV around so I can assess the ears, the eye, the coat, the posture. Um, all the things that you need really to make educated decisions on your stock. Also makes things like cutting nails and uh, doing health checks much easier as well if the KV is willing to be handled and moved into various positions. So this is one of the training sessions again on a two month old boar, we'll call this boar number one. Um, and here I get to lift the boar up onto his front legs and stand back and actually assess the KV. You can see so that you know they're quite nervous at this age, they're looking around all the time, but I get to gauge um a lot of things about this KV. I get to see the width, I get to see the ears, the eyes, the colour, whilst training them. Um, and it gives me a good idea of what's in the studs and how things develop. I find uh, the training sessions are invaluable. And I do this pretty much every day. Uh, and this is the sort of thing you need to do to get that KV relaxed. I'm assessing everything from uh, head size, to ear size, to ear placement, and just gauging, just trying to remember. I mean, these videos are very good for my own personal records and I get to see how this KV develops over the next six months to see where this type of head is something I actually do want to retain. I mean, lots of contact and reassurance really helps the guinea pig to relax. Um, not all guinea pigs take to showing, so you need to be mindful of this uh, and not put a guinea pig in that situation if it causes them stress. So lifting them up on their front feet is possibly uh, one of the most important things because this is what a judge is going to do to a KV. Now, it looks like you're lifting them from the neck, but in actual fact, we're lifting from uh, the top of the front legs. I try not to stretch the body out too much for this because we want them to adopt a natural shape position. So when the judge lifts them up, they, they show themselves off to the absolute best. Um, and it gives you the best assessment from this angle of type. So you get to see what their profile is going to be like. You get to see the height from the legs to the top of the head, from the nose to the top of the head, and the distance between the eye and the nose as well, which are all key when assessing type. In this cave, you can see the ears are fairly balanced and the colour is really good. It's got a bit of a triangle shaped head, which means it's wider at the jowl than it is at the top of the head. So we'll just monitor how that width between the, the ears uh, develops. We can see the fiery under colour coming through. It's got a bit of shoulder, a little bit long in the head at this age, but 
I'm not really going to hold that against it. Uh, we'll just let it develop and see how things go. So here's uh, boar number three. Um, this boar uh, isn't as keen on being on the bench. You can see he's very hunched and holds himself close, close together. His back is sort of arched slightly. So we'll just see if we can stroke him into position and sort of play around with him and get him to feel more relaxed. You can see there he's letting us handle him very well, but he still wants to uh, contract all the time. So that's not ideal, really. Um, but this is his first session. You know, and from here, we can see quite a few interesting details about him. We can see he's got good ear placement. Um, he looks like he's got um, a slightly smaller eye, but his head is huge. Very tall head, very long head. Not normally the type of head that um, you associate with a show pig, normally with a breeding boar. But again, very young, and things change so quickly in a stud of goldens. Um, but yeah, he's not completely comfortable just yet. So a, a little bit more work on this one is uh, definitely required. Uh, here's boar number four. I mean, I don't name my boars until um, I'm sure they're staying with me. Um, this KV is uh, got a slight ear imbalance and an oval shaped head, um, which is uh, interesting. Uh, I'm hopefully these ears will settle. Um, but it's all part of the training, you know, we push those ears down, we lift that, that head up and uh, we move the KV around. This cave has had a couple of uh, training sessions, so he's used to standing on his own. Um, you can see after just a few sessions, they, they sort of take to it quite well. Um, really like the pigment of this KV. Uh, you can see uh, the ears match the coat colour quite well. Uh, it's a little bit older, this is two and a half months old. And uh, yeah, it's now, at this point, after a few training sessions, I introduce uh, clicking and clapping um, to get them used to noises as they would on a show bench. Um, but then that's followed completely by more reassurance and uh, that's making them feel relaxed and comfortable in the environment. So this is boar number five, again, two and a half month old. And you can see when you first put it on the table, it doesn't look his best. Um, it takes a bit of work to coax an animal to show itself off to its absolute finest. As you see here, it's slightly hunching, the nose is extended. Uh, it just doesn't look like a, a show animal at the moment. So we need to basically practice putting it into the right show position so that it does show itself off to its full. As you can see now, we are getting the most out of this KV. We're experiencing uh, a good profile. It's now more relaxed, allowing us to move it around. And we're starting to see the full effect of the animal. The, the jowl is exposed so we can see the full frontal. And it's starting to look much more like a show animal. Um, and it's starting to stand very well, which are all attributes that we look for. And again, in profile view, it actually looks like a very, very useful cave, you know. Um, and that's just time and patience. These things don't happen overnight. They take uh, just simply a minute a day over the course of a couple of months, and your cave could be standing like this too. So in summary, uh, just train your cave for one minute a day. Be patient when training and put the cavies health first. If they're not into the show scene, don't force them to be into the show scene. But if you follow uh, the tips in the video, you can't go too far wrong. I mean, you'll end up with uh, cavies that are presenting themselves nicely for you on the show bench. And hopefully you'll uh, reap the fruits of your labour. All your patience in training will pay off and you'll win plenty of prizes at your show. I hope you enjoyed this video of my training session. I got a little insight into how I do things and uh, I'll see you in the next one.